that we have. The producer right here, Leo Severino, he's joining us now from Los Angeles. Thank you so much for being with us, Leo. Thank you for uh, having me. Thank you, Your Excellency. Thank hey, you Leo. for your incredible support. I appreciate uh, it. Maybe talk, talk about how this uh, sort of developed and um, maybe came about uh, and uh, how that all started this uh, rolling to this beautiful picture. Well, we had uh, made a film a few years back called Bella, and our financier for that film, Mr. Eustace Wolfington, has this great devotion to Mother Cabrini. So he calls me years later and he says he wants to make a film about Mother Cabrini. And I said, Mother who? And he said, Mother Cabrini, you don't know her. She's the first American saint. I said, no, the first American saint is uh, St. Elizabeth Ann Seton. He said, no, that's the first naturally born American saint, but the first American saint is Mother Cabrini. And he told me her story. And I, I got to admit, I was a little reticent. I was like, this is, here's a person no one knows. It's about a nun from the 1900s. Is there really a story there? And he basically said, ye of little faith, and sent me a book on her life. And when I read it, I was just, I was just blown away. And I said, this is an incredible underdog story. It's an incredible story about perseverance and faith, and it's just beautiful. So we thought it, we thought it worth the effort. Leo, you're the man to ask this question now. Uh, tell us about uh, the incredible tenaciousness and the passion of this woman, this nun mother, Cabrini, particularly in, in fighting for the, the rights and the needs of people who were you know, truly down and out and disadvantaged. Yeah, it was near and dear to her heart because she was down and out and disadvantaged. When she was a child, she got smallpox and almost died from that. She had this terrible case of tuberculosis, almost died of that. And she almost drowned in a river, was saved by this miraculous hand that came in kind of out of nowhere um, for the, and pulled her out of the water. So her lungs were compromised. Yeah, her, exactly. Her lungs were, were compromised the entire time of her life, and she was only given a few years to live. So she always had this notion for uh, that's in the film, this notion of there's a line in the film where she says, you can either serve your weakness or you can serve your purpose. You can't serve both. And she always chose to serve her purpose. And she felt her purpose was precisely because of her experience to reach out to those who were most disadvantaged, to the poorest of the poor. And in fact, she inspired a young nun at her canonization in 1946 who wound up leaving her order and starting her own order of missionaries in the mold of Mother Cabrini. Well, that nun was Mother Teresa. So uh, that legacy has continued even to this day. Uh, and we saw, as we saw the trailer of the woman who plays Mother Cabrini and the entire cast, there was an incredible cast. Uh, maybe you could talk about assembling this great group of actors. Yeah, well, we had a, a terrific uh, casting director, Denise Shamian, but it's really the vision of our director, Alejandro Monteverde. Uh, he did Bella with us and Little Boy and Sound of Freedom. He just has a, an incredible vision. And uh, finding the, the actress, he was very adamant, you know, we need to find someone who's actually Italian so that we can be as authentic as possible. And so he, we did a worldwide search and uh, wound up uh, casting Christiana Delana, who is just unbelievable actress. And she played the role so perfectly. We're so pleased with it. So I, I really, uh, I, I'm very proud of the acting and, and the, the quality of this film. And obviously, Leo, those were different times, but what, what can the, the example, the life, the passion of Mother Cabrini teach us today in these, this moment? Well, we wouldn't have made the film if we didn't feel it was relevant to today. I mean, just the notion of, of uh, people's place in society, the dignity of the human person, that sort of thing. But more than anything, it's this universal theme of, of determination and faith. And if you have this calling to do something very particular, it doesn't matter the obstacles. There's always going to be a way to, to overcome it if God wills. And that was precisely her viewpoint. So I think it's, it's very inspiring for anybody in any circumstance when you're over, trying to overcome some sort of adversity. And as we get uh, closer to the release date, uh, talk about your feelings too, being a part of this project and, and, and having it so close to being uh, out there for all to view. Well, it's a great honor, uh, indeed. And I, like I said, I was uh, kind of the last to, to come aboard uh, after Eustace brought, brought, brought this notion to us because I, I didn't know if there was a story there. And now I, I think and I hope and I'm praying that we've made one of the better films about a saint that's been made. So I'm excited that Angel Studios is behind it. Uh, you know, they, they had great success with The Chosen and with Sound of Freedom. And this is going to be their first global release. So on March 8th, it's going to start uh, basically worldwide. Um, so uh, we're really excited about it because our, our hope was to shine a light on, on Mother Cabrini's life because it's so unknown. So then she can then shine a light on the world. So that's the idea. So uh, Kevin's seen the movie. Jay and I have seen the trailer. And we want people to see 
the whole thing. Where can people go to, to see the trailer, find out more information, where to see the movie locally beginning Friday, March 8th? On angel.com slash Cabrini, or even on just angel.com, the webpage, you can click on a link to Cabrini. And even right now, as, as we sit, you can, you can go to your local theater through that website and buy tickets in advance for whatever screening date at whatever time. Um, they, they're, they're wonderful with their technology nowadays, and so they're able to, to get tickets this far in advance. Well, Leo, thank you so much for being with us. We appreciate it and uh, encourage people. Like I said, I got, I got a chance to see it. It's a wonderful picture. I encourage people to go out there and check it out. Thanks so much for being with us. Thank you. Thank you, Your Excellency. Thank you for all you do there at Catholic TV. Appreciate you.